The following is my explanation. Well, more of an account of what happened. I'd been on my own for a while and getting kind of lonely and bored. Nothing to do all day. And that's when I started shadowing. As an aspiring filmmaker, there are a few films that have behind the scenes stories that are just as inspiring, if not more so, than the actual film itself. There's the guerrilla style of Gareth Edwards 2010 film Monsters, the simple yet raw beauty of John Carney's Once, and the cult classic Clerks, directed by Kevin Smith. But none inspire me more than Christopher Nolan's first feature film, Following. Filmed in a micro budget of about 4,500 pounds or 6,000 American dollars in 1998, the behind the scenes story of this film is one that I can relate to. Filmed at a time where the entire cast and crew had full time jobs, Nolan would shoot only on weekends over the course of the entire year until principal photography was complete. Following tells the story of an aspiring writer who follows people in order to study them for his characters in his story. One day he is caught by his subject, Cobb, who happens to be a burglar. The young writer agrees to follow the robber on his jobs to study and learn the way of Cobb's life, becoming engrossed in his newly found hobby and biting off a little more than he could chew. There are certainly aspects of this film that cry of Nolan's involvement, the non-linear time-jumping style that he made famous with Memento, and to a lesser extent the prestige, can easily be seen in its early form within this movie. But unlike most of his films which rely on sound and music to enhance the story, following is a much quieter film than we are used to with Nolan. So quiet, in fact, that there are some scenes where if you listen closely, you can hear the whir of the camera. This, of course, is all forgivable given the low budget and extremely independent production. To see a director's first film is a wonderful thing. You understand where they came from and how they have evolved their career since then. And Nolan is no exception. It is truly inspiring to see how with a lot of dedication and a little persistence, you can make your dreams come true for you by yourself. You just gotta work for it. Hey, thanks for watching that video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, hit that thumbs down button. Don't forget to comment if you've seen Following. Following is uh, available to watch on Netflix if you want to watch it. Uh, I definitely suggest checking it out. It's a very, very good movie for, uh, you know, being such a low budget. Uh, if you click over there, you can check out my last week's Recommendays, which was for Goon. And if you click over there, that's going to be last week's Glenn's Days, which was about time. So check those out. Uh, don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And you know, you know what to do. Thanks. See ya.